Now this haircut, I could be literally like any character in Stranger Things. I don't know how to feel about that, to be honest. It's Halloween in an amount of days, and personally, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I hope you feel the same. So in this video, we are doing some Halloween costumes. They're going to be very simple made with the stuff you can find in your apartment because I am broke and I'm not buying stuff for a joke. What I've loved about this year has been the American presidential election. It's been the highlight of my life and have you ever wanted to, to dress up like presidential candidates? I bet you have. So let's do it. First of all we have Hillary Clinton. I find this costume to be super easy. I mean if you don't own a pantsuit then that's your issue. But it's an easy costume. Next of all we have Donald J. Trump, who's the guy who's just he's tiring. I'm I'm so tired. He's there. And you can dress up as him. You can always dress up as Bernie Sanders as well by not being invited to the party. Now that the topical segment of this video is over, we are going to move on to more traditional Halloween costumes. First up, we have the ghost. I do not own white sheets, so I'm going to be an apricot flavored ghost for Halloween, and you all know that those are the best ones. Then again, you are that guy in the club wearing a sheet on your head, so maybe try a little bit harder. Just a tiny, tiny bit harder. Tiny bit harder. Next up, we have James Bond, the 007 himself. Get that suit that you bought for prom one time and only wore once and put it on. Then go around and sort of spout misogyny at will and you'll be James Bond. Of course, if you're already misogynist, that might be a little bit hard, so you're just going to have to like make a gun out of your fingers or with like paper or something to convey that you are a suit wielding spy. That's incorrect. That you are a spy wearing a suit wielding a gun. Guess what's topical this year? It is Star Wars. I liked it. It was a good movie. Now you can always dress up as the two leads, Ray and Finn, or as Kylo Ren, who was terrible. Um, then again, you can dress up as C-3PO, a bastion of Star Wars. One of the most recognisable characters, because he doesn't change his face. What you need for this is a gold shirt, and if you don't have one of those, cover yourself in PVA glue and roll it out in glitter. You can also go with uh, Luke in his cameo appearance at the end of The Force Awakens. That was so worthwhile and definitely a legitimate choice. Ooh. Now, not everyone has their own Scottish island, but if you do, this might be one for you. Luke is very, very simple to dress up as. The next category is just sort of a general one. Pretty much any modern character from any television show. Uh, you got the girl from the teen sitcom. Look at all that plaid. Oh, baby. <sighs> then you've got any character from The Walking Dead. This one's a little bit harder, because you have to go outside and just sort of roll about in the mud for a bit, maybe add some fake blood, I don't know, a couple of bruises, but if you don't want to try, just put the plaid on, go outside, sit in a muddy puddle for a bit, I don't know, cover yourself in dust, because the apocalypse doesn't have any showers. And finally, you are the vampire from any American vampire show. Once again, plaid, it's multi-purpose, it's wonderful, I love it. And, um, fake blood. If you don't have any fake blood, maybe some jam or jelly, as you guys call it. <sighs> Guess what's a really great thing from this year? It was Suicide Squad, the movie that everyone loved. Uh, oh, DC, you could have tried harder. I mean, one thing I got out of that film was a really great Spotify playlist, let me tell you. Um, yeah, so let's dress up as a Joker. Super simple. Because this isn't Heath Ledger's Joker. R.I.P. Uh, no, this is, this is a Joker who is hip and young and millennial. Green hair, gold teeth, uh, not much makeup, t 
tattoos that he found on Google and just drew on with a sharpie. That sort of thing. So simple. Plus, you can just carry a knife around all the time because that's what the Joker would have done. And if anyone gets pissy at you for not trying hard with your costume, you can just pull a knife on them because that's what people do. That's what normal people do. Hey. Next one, super easy. I own a skeleton onesie. I might wear a skeleton onesie if I want to uh, die because it's spring and so fucking hot. If you don't own a skeleton onesie, black clothing, black delicate plava, put some duct tape over you in the shape of a skeleton. That's easy. Um, you might also get arrested for looking like a thug or a murderer or something, but I don't know you, I don't know your life risk it, why not? Next one, super simple. It's a fairy, but it's like a boho one. Because as millennials, I think it is our job to just change things up a bit. Um, this isn't your sparkly shit. This is a boho fairy. So basically it's what you wear is boho. Maybe like a flower crown, maybe like some eye makeup, and it's super easy. And if people say, who are you? Well, you can just say, I'm a fairy. Duh. And if they say, where are your wings? You just say, oh, I'm hiding them. Duh, because I'm in public. Honestly. <sighs> These people. Questioning your motives. Honestly. Pirate. Aren't just for kids anymore. Don't think they ever were, to be honest. Get all that ripped clothing that you haven't thrown away from your closet. Put it on. Mess up your hair a bit. Maybe an eye patch. Bit of blood. Maybe a sword. Here you go, pirate. Simple. Anyway, I am going to go now. I hope your Halloween is great. Mine will certainly be alcoholic. Goodbye.